Cult of the Lamb by Massive Monster and published by Devolver is a wonderfully twisted mix of roguelite dungeon crawling, base building and community management that's been making waves in the indie scene and with its recent arrival on PS Plus, I just couldn't resist diving into it and giving it a go. First things first, you play as the lamb in the title, and having been saved from sacrifice by a mysterious stranger, you must now build a loyal following in that person's name, using the powers of the red crown that they've given you. There's a few twists and turns along the way of course, but that's the general outline and about all you need to know going into it because the narrative is intriguing, filled with dark humour and also unexpected twists. The characters you encounter are generally pretty memorable, each with their own quirks and backstories and the game does a fantastic job of making sure you care about your followers as well, adding a slight emotional layer to the gameplay. That gameplay loop is what really takes centre stage though with its intuitive and tight controls, procedural generation and ever growing list of tasks. You find yourself ultimately going back and forth between 15 minutes or so of dungeon crawling and then you spend that same amount of time managing your ever growing community and resources to ultimately make yourself stronger. And you do unlock so much so often, while also having breadcrumbs put in front of you to unlock the next thing, that it really does keep you compelled throughout. The art style is another standout feature with a dark but adorable aesthetic that sometimes makes me think of Okami and the hand drawn visuals really are charming, cute and eerie, creating a unique atmosphere that draws you in, while the soundtrack complements those visuals perfectly with haunting melodies that enhance the overall experience. As someone who appreciates good design, I found the attention to detail rather impressive. As an accessibility champion, I was pleased to see the game does include several features to accommodate different players, ensuring that a variety of people can enjoy it. It's always great to see developers prioritising inclusivity in their games, and as well as those accessibility options, even just the fact that each weapon you use in your runs plays completely different from the others, it means that there's definitely something for everyone. For me, it's the blunder. The accessibility and inclusion is also followed on through with the diverse cast of characters. Overall, Cult of the Lambs a darkly charming adventure that offers a fresh take on the roguelike genre by adding in some Stardew Valley-esque elements and blending action, strategy and storytelling in a way that makes it a must play for any indie game enthusiast. Whether a seasoned gamer or just looking for something new, this game is sure to captivate. Although if they were to make a sequel, what I would say is that can you give us a way of finding out who it is that pooped inside my church, please? Because I'd really like to sort them out. Cheerio!